Hello, Maria Jose. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we will wait a couple of minutes for your classmates, okay? Good evening, Letty. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, very good. Good to hear you. I'm very good. Very good. Thank you for asking. Uh, we will start now with the class, girls. Uh, thank you so much for joining on time. Let me start sharing my screen. Um, can you confirm if you see my screen, please? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, um, well, once again, thank you so much for being here and thank you for being on time. We will start with the, um, with the class. And for tonight, we will have a little warm-up activity. Uh, we will get in couples or, well, in this case, since we have three people, you will be working in a trio and you will answer the following question. The question that we have here is, what should people do in order to learn a new language? This is something in which you have to give recommendations. You have to give some advice, okay? What should people do in order to learn a language? Let me give you an example of an answer. Um, in order for people to learn a new language, they should uh, get a lot of vocabulary so they can express their ideas. Also, they should uh, uh, listen to a lot of music or videos in the language they want to learn. For example, if they want to learn English, they should watch a lot of videos, um, a lot of series, a lot of movies in English. If they are, if they want to learn French, they should watch a lot of videos and listen to French and like that, okay? Since last week, we learned about model verbs. This is the uh, first model verb that we will use. Vamos a usar should, okay? So we have to give recommendations for people to learn a new language, okay? So since I just have three people, I want Okay, Maria Jose, you will ask Leti. Then Leti, you will ask Francisco. And Francisco, you will ask Maria Jose. Okay? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so Maria Jose, you can start asking the question to Leti. Oh, hold on. I think I have one more person. Yes, somebody else got in. Los voy a poner en breakout rooms para que practiquen la pregunta, okay? I will put you in breakout rooms so you can uh, ask the question. Remember, the question is, what? Okay, what should people do in order to learn a new language? This is the question, okay? What should people do in order to learn a new language? That is la pregunta. I will put you in breakout rooms. Lo voy a poner en breakout rooms para que practiquen esa pregunta. Remember, vamos a usar el model verse should because we're giving recommendations, okay? So let's accept, please, the invitations so we can practice the question.
is the question? What is the question? Ah. <laughs> it's in the chat. What should people do in order to learn a new language? That is the question. Ah, in the chat, in the chat. Ah, really, really, really. What should people do in order to learn a new language? Uh, you and me, the first? You can ask the question to, to Maria Jose. Maria Jose, answer the question. And then, Maria Jose, you ask the question to Francisco. Okay, okay, okay. Maria Jose, are you there? Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, Maria Jose, what, sh what should people do in order to learn a new language? A new language? The internet. Yes, Maria Jose, Majo, hello. Okay, um, the first should be in informal. Um, okay. Right? <laughs> okay. And then? Only that. Ahorita sí. And, and you, uh, what should people do in order to learn a new language? Okay, for me, it's very important the practice. Um, that's all. Okay. We finished, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's repeat it. We still have time. You can do uh, one more. We, you can do it one more time. Okay. Okay. What should people do in order to learn a new language, Gabriela? Okay. Uh, the people listen to music in English. Also, show read books, maybe children books, and watch TV series or movies, and talk with people in English. Okay. Ask me too, Gabby. Ask me to me. What should people do in order to learn a new language? People choose new vocabulary. Uh, people talk to other people. Uh, this language. Uh, people listen to music. Um, Let me just a recommendation. I'm sorry. Uh, when you're talking about like giving advice, remember that you have to use the auxiliary should in all of the sentences. Like for okay. example, people should learn vocabulary. Also, they should learn um, grammar and they should practice uh, in all the sentences, okay? Okay. Continue, okay. please. People should uh, watch TV. Also, people uh, read magazines. People uh, who should uh, uh, choose new vocabulary. Okay, very good. Now we practiced a little bit and I want to hear your answers. 
I want to start with Mr. Francisco. So tell me, Mr. Hold on, let me share the screen. One second. Okay. Um, okay. There you go, Francisco. Tell me what should people do in order to uh, learn a new language? Okay. Uh, for me, the best important is to practice, practice with other people. In my case, in, in, in my work, uh, we have a, we have a conversation club. We have a conversation club and we, we have a meeting once a, a week for uh, Microsoft Teams and practice and practice. Uh, um, and, and then uh, I, I listen listen podcasts in English of, of Spotify. Okay. What kind of podcast do you listen? Uh, the podcast to learn English. Are there podcasts to learn English in Spotify? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. And it's, it's do you have like the name of a podcast? I'm curious. Yes. yes. Uh, tell me one second. Um, uh, in this moment, I search in, in podcasts. But do you listen to conversations or is like they explain grammar and vocabulary or how is the podcast? Yes, it's, it's, it's vocabulary and grammar. Oh. Okay. Uh, the, the, the names of the podcast is to English. To English. Oh, okay. In, 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 in Spanish. Spotify, Spotify. Yes. all right yes. thank you thank you so much francisco yes. this is new for me i mean i know about youtube channels but i didn't know there were english podcasts yes. to learn to learn english yes. that's interesting yes yes it's very interesting okay so thank you francisco just a a quick recommendation uh, well quick feedback sorry uh the best important, I think that you confuse the auxiliary in this case will be the most important. The most important thing when learning a new language is, uh, as you were saying, practicing. Okay, the and most example, important. The most important, exactly. Oh. Okay, Francisco, please choose one of your classmates. Uh, Letty. Okay, thank you. Miss Letty, go ahead. What should people do in order to learn a new language? People should practice English class, listen to music, then people should uh, choose new vocabulary, new verbs, New object. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And what what are you doing to improve uh, your English level? Let me, for example, what do you do that works for you? Listen music. Listen to music. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite type of music? Gospel music. I'm Maverick. Sorry? Gospel music. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, I imagine that the music is in English, right? It's very good in English. Okay, okay. It's music. Mm -hmm. Very good. I might. Do you have the name of a band or a singer that you recommend? Mm -hmm. Maverick. 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 Uh -huh. Gospel. Maverick. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I will listen to their music. Thank you so much, Letty. Uh, please pick somebody else. Um... Francisco, ya, ya estuvo. He participated, yes. One of the eh, girls. Quiero ver quién más está. Gaby. Okay, thank you. Gabriela, it's your turn. Uh, tell us, what should people do in order to learn a new language? Okay, people should read books, maybe children books for the vocabulary. Also, should listen to music in English and people should watch tv series okay beautiful thank you gabby that was a very good answer uh just um a feedback in regards to pronunciation the pronunciation 
Niños is children, okay? Children. Okay. Children, all right? Very good. Thank you, Gaby. And I think, well, pick one of your classmates. We still have Alejandra and Maria Jose. Alejandra. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alejandra, go ahead. Tell us, what should people do in order to learn a new language? I would recommend to listen to music and read books in English and watch a, a series in Netflix, Netflix or I or movies. Um, in my case, I watching a videos in English in TikTok. <laughs> and, okay. Um. Um. And I watch a uh, a videos in same in YouTube. Okay. And do you watch series in English? Mm, a little bit. Can you tell us about one series in English that you have watched in the past? Mm, the Calamon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Calamar, creo. Calama Calamar. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I, I have never heard about it. Is, it. is it on Netflix? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, Ale, just a quick feedback. Um, when you say a video, it's like you're saying un videos, right? Entonces, las palabras de estos a o an son artículos, okay? Y esos artículos se los ocupan con singulares, all right? Yo puedo decir a video, un video, ahí sí está bien, pero si digo a videos, o sea, en plural, eso está incorrecto. Entonces, eh, puede decir, um, I watch videos in English or I watch short videos on TikTok, ¿ok? Pero okay. ponerle la A o el an a un plural, it's incorrect, ¿ok? So, please take notes about it and let's be careful with that, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, thank you, Ale. Eh, hey, María José, it's your turn. Tell us what should people do in order to learn a new language. Ok, in conclusion, it should be informed in practice the language as much as possible and put effort into it. Ok, ok, very good. Thank you so much, María José, and thank you guys for your participation. Now we will move to the uh, review, okay? On Friday, we started a review of modal verbs, okay? So we have the question, what are modal verbs? Gavi, can you help me reading what are modal verbs? This chart, please, this one. Okay. A modal verb also called a modal auxiliary Verb used along with a main verb to express possible ability, permission, or ne how necessity. Is necessity. Necessity. Yeah. necessity. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, as we were studying last week, guys, modal verbs are used to express a possibility, an ability permission, necessity, a recommendation or advice, or something that is mandatory, okay? This is the purpose of modal verbs. Now, let's review, like, in which context we use each model. We use modal verbs depending on the context, depending on we, what we are actually saying. Uh, Leti, help me read in the first chart, please, this one. For advice, suggestion, or recommendation, we use should. Example, I should go to the gym. Okay, thank you, Letty. Very good. Uh, just a quick feedback. The pronunciation of this word is suggestion. All right? Suggestion. 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 Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Letty. So, um... We were practicing recommendations, right? So whenever we want to recommend something, para cuando queremos recomendar algo, we use the modal verb should. Solo should. That's the only one, okay? 
when you want to give advice, cuando quieran dar consejos, when you want to give recommendations, this is the one, should, all right? Then we have the next one, for orders or mandatory actions. Um, Alejandra, help me reading this one, please. For order or mandatory action, we use must or have to. Example, I should go to the gym. Sorry, I didn't change it there. I have to go to the gym, okay? Or I must go to the gym. So what's the difference? Who can explain to me what is the difference between a suggestion and an order or something mandatory? Do you remember what is the difference? The difference between a recommendation or suggestion and the difference between something that is mandatory. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre un consejo o una sugerencia o algo que es mandatory, algo que es mandatorio? Somebody in Spanish? The, the difference is the, the, in the recommendation is a no obligation, is no too much necessary. Um, okay. And the mandatory is, is low, is, is yes for yes. Yes or yes. yes. Yes or yes. Exactly. Thank you, Francisco. That's the difference. A suggestion is optional. Okay, you have the option to do or not to do what the person is recommending you. But for mandatory things, when we say, when we hear must or when we hear have to, there is no option here. This is something that we have to do. Okay, so these are the model verbs should and must and have to. Questions about these two model verbs? No questions. No. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Let's move on. The next one is we have the model verbs to express abilities or permission. Maria Jose, help me reading the model verbs to express abilities, please. This chart that you see here. Hello, Maria Jose, are you there? Hello, hello. Yes. Please help me reading this. Okay. To express ability in present or past, we use can and co. Example, I can cook Chinese cook. Okay, thank you, Maria Jose. So whenever we want to say that we know how to do something or we have an ability or that we can do something, these are the motor verbs, can or could, okay? And then we have the last ones uh, to request permission. We have can, may, or could. These ones, we use them in the form of a question. Cuando queramos pedir permiso para algo, vamos a usar can, may, or could. Any of the three of them. ¿Cuál es la diferencia que estos cuando son permissions siempre los vamos a hacer en forma de pregunta? All right. We have the example. May I use the restroom? I can say may I go to the bathroom? I can say can I drink some water please? Or can I answer this phone call? Eso siempre cuando se ocupen en el contexto de permission or request something, siempre van a ir en forma de pregunta. Okay. Y tenemos can, may y could. Um, may es como el más informal can es 50 formal 50 informal y el más formal, el más professional is could cuando estamos haciendo una request okay? so do we have questions about these ones? no, for me no no questions, okay so just one little thing about can and could. Remember that can is a model verb to express abilities in the present, only in the present, okay? And could is a model verb to express abilities, but in the past, okay? That's the difference between can and could when we talk about abilities, all right? And we will go to the last one. 
And Mr. Francisco, can you help me with this one, please? Okay. To express a future probability, probability we use may or mean. Example, I will go to the movies tonight. Okay, the pronunciation of this word, this model verb is might. Okay, let me put it in the chat. Uh, I will go to the movie tonight. Okay. Might, like might. that. All right, that's the pronunciation. So, whenever we have a probability, probability means una probabilidad, algo que puede pasar o no puede pasar. Okay, so to express probabilities, we use may or might okay and here we have the example i might go to the movies tonight okay when the weather is very windy cuando hay mucho viento qué es lo que decimos cuando está haciendo mucho viento está tronando qué es lo que decimos qué hello somebody que va a llover, right? Entonces, para expresar ese tipo de probabilidad sería it might rain later or it might rain at night. It might rain, okay? Which is a probability. Puede que llueva, puede que no llueva, okay? Uh, questions about this one? Yes, uh, we, can, we can use uh, maybe. Yeah, but maybe it's more like an expression. It's not actually a model verb. Oh. Porque okay. no puedo decir, it may be rain. That wouldn't be correct. It might rain. Sí, porque es un model verb, es un auxiliary. Pero maybe es tal vez. So lo que puede decir es, maybe it will rain. Tal vez vaya a llover. Okay? Ahí sí estaría bien usar maybe, pero no como model verb because it's not a, a model verb. Okay? Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure, Francisco. Any other questions, guys? No more questions? Teacher. Eh, Tell me, Leti. Al final entendí que en Ken y Cool, la diferencia es que Ken es en presente y Cool es pasado. That's correct. Significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? Solo que uno está en pasado y uno está en presente. Yes, that's correct, Leti. Okay, gracias. Okay, my pleasure. Any other questions, guys? Okay, so I think we're ready for the quiz. Si no tenemos preguntas, vamos a ir a un... Well, it's like a game quiz, all right? So, let me... Hold on. I want to share this sound. Okay. Um, Francisco, give me a number, please. Uh, number five. Okay, number five. So this is your sentence. You, and says, leave small objects lay, lying around. Such objects be swallowed by children. Swallowed, guys, esto es tragarse. Ok, tragar, cuando, como, cuando, como cuando traga comida. This is the meaning of this word, ok. So, en estos blank spaces, ¿qué model verse tengo que poner, eh, Francisco? You... Remember that it can be positive or, or negative, ok. Uh, you can, you can not, or can't. Uh. Ok, pero can is for ability. ¿Y será que aquí en, cabe en ability? You, you can live? No. No. Live. Live es dejar, ¿ok? De, ah. O sea que no puede dejar objetos, ¿ok? Pero what's the model verb, the correct model verb for this situation? We, uh, in, for me, you use, use do, don't, you don't leave a small object. Okay, you don't leave a small object. You don't leave or you mustn't leave, okay? Such objects, okay, ¿y a quién es esto? Such objects, 
is uh, is the last <laughs> the last my my uh, so my you, my maybe maybe my might be mm -hmm. maybe. swallowed by children maybe okay okay so you don't have to or you mustn't leave small objects lying around such objects might be swallowed by children let's see yes. okay so it was like 50 and 50 because in this one you said you don't have to or you mustn't and actually it was shouldn't all right in may is similar to might okay so lo vamos a dejar ahí le voy a poner correct okay um okay. let's see gabriela give me a number please three i'm sorry three three okay so you have this sentence roberto come to the reunion he said he was very busy but that What are the modal verbs, the correct modal verbs that we have to add in the blank spaces? Okay, I think Roberto can't come to the reunion. He say it was very busy, but he can he can try. Okay, or... let's check. He can or that he would try. All right. So yeah. in this one we have might. Roberto might come to the reunion. He said that he was very busy, but that he wouldn't try. Okay, so yeah, might is not similar to can, so this one will be incorrect. Uh, let's see, Letty, give me a number, please. Uh, seven. Okay, oh, no point, another number. Mm, 11. Okay, once again, Roberto. Stay up late when he was a teenager. Roberto. If you see here, he was a teenager, this is past. So what is the moreover that we use in past actions? I don't know. <laughs> but we just saw it. Guys, who can help me? What is the motto verb? Roberto, Roberto Ma, may, might. Might? Mm -mm. Could. No. Could. 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 Could, exactly, could. Okay, let's see. Exactly, that was the answer. Roberto could stay up late when he was a teenager. O sea, él se podía quedar hasta tarde cuando estaba, cuando era adolescente. Okay, very good. Now the next one. Alejandra, give me a number. Six. Number six. Okay. What would be this one? Mm. For this exercise, guys, para este ejercicio también podemos utilizar el modo verb would. Okay. Está en alguna de las opciones. And would is like when we offer something, cuando se ofrece algo, utilizamos esto would también. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, exactly. It was would. Would you like something to drink? Very good. Uh, Maria Jose, give me a number, please. 12. 12. Okay. Oh, 25 points. Another number, please. Nine. Nine, very good. So this one, engineers always wear a helmet at construction sites. It is a rule. Do you know what is a helmet, guys? Casco. Un casco, exactly. De los que usan los amarillitos que usan los ingenieros. This is the kind of helmet this sentence is talking about. So Maria Jose, what's the correct um, model over here? Um, 
I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Maria Jose. Can you repeat it? Um, uh, I'm sorry, but there is a lot of noise. Eh, hay bastante ruido de su lado. Si gusta, pongas la, la respuesta en el chat. You can put the answer in the chat, okay? What do you think, guys, about... Okay, Maria Jose says should. Okay, let's see if it was should. Um, in this one, uh, the correct one is must because this is something like mandatory, yes? Teacher, teacher. Yes. Sorry. Puede usar el have to. That's correct, también el have to. Engineers have to always wear a helmet or they have to wear a helmet. Así también se podría usar. In this case, solo nos da la opción de must, but we can also use have to, okay? All right, now let's return to Mr. Francisco. Give me a number, please. Number one. Okay, number one. Oh, another number. Ten. Okay, the perfect number. So, this one. Raj hasn't studied well. He... Fail the exam. I was doing well. He, he can't. No, no, no. Mm. This sounds like a probability. So, what are the motivators for probability? May. May and. May and. Um, I forget. <laughs> might. Might. May and might. Uno de esos dos. Okay. Let's might. see the answer. Might. might. That was the correct one. Might. might. Rush hasn't studied well. He might fail the test. No estudio yes. puede que falle, right? It's a, pro, right? it's a possibility. Okay. okay. Very good. Now let's go with Gabby. Give me a number, please. Four. I'm sorry, four? Yes. Okay. All right, this one. Can I ask a question? Okay, let's see. Can or may, very good. Because our pro are for permission, for request. Así que can, may, or could, cualquiera sabe. Okay, uh, let's see, Letty, give me a number, please. 13. 13. Let's see. What about this one? I don't know. Uh, resting? Sin descansar. Is... Dice sin de... Niños, jugar por horas sin descansar. Children. Can? Okay. Can. Exactly. Can. They can play for hours. Without resting. Very good. Thank you, Letty. Now the next one. Um, Alejandra, go ahead. 16. 16. All right. Drivers, stop when the traffic lights are red. Traffic lights, semáforos. Okay. Must. Okay, must or have to. Exactly, must. This is mandatory. You have to stop. When the traffic light is in red. Now, Maria Jose, give me a number. Eight. Okay, eight or no points. Another number, please. Two. Number two. Let's see. Okay, Elizabeth. Okay, this is easy. Says Elizabeth Space Cook. She is just can. a terrible. Sorry? Can't. Can't. Can. Okay. Exactly. Can't. Because she can't cook. She's terrible at cooking. Very good. Mr. Francisco, 14 or 15? 14. 
14. Okay. I'm not sure where I will go for my holiday, but I... I ask a question. Yes, or, yes, of course. Uh, no, but I. Italy. But I may go to Italy. May. Okay, I may or might. Very good. I might or may go to Italy. Excellent. And let's see, Gabriela, this is for you. What will be the correct one? May. Hello. Okay. May, let's see. Or might, may or might, because we're talking about a probability. This is a probability. Very good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Very good job. Um, I want to ask you something. Les quiero pedir algo y se los quiero pedir en español para que quede claro. Eh, recién estábamos como viendo el contenido, cómo se usa cuáles son los motivers, pero a la hora que les pregunto veo que no se acuerdan, entonces sí les, sí les quiero pedir por favor que pongamos atención y que si la explicación que yo les doy no les queda claro, por favor no tengan miedo de preguntar. Pregunte, levante la mano, dígame, teacher, no entendí, teacher is not clear. No me importa repetirles nuevamente o repetirles de una manera diferente, pero a mí lo que me importa y lo importante para mí es que quede claro, que a todos les quede claro todos los modelers o cualquier tema que les quede muy claro para que lo sepan usar en contexto, ¿ok? Um, ¿Hay alguna pregunta de los modelers que tengan? ¿Is there a question that you have? Dicha, tal vez si nos envía así la explicación de cada uno para poderlo estudiar. Ok. Porque él también eh, captura al, al anterior, y, pero el anterior no tiene la, la explicación, sino que los ejemplos. Ok. Eh, just a question, eh, Leti. Eh, no sí. sé si esto, por lo menos aquí está la explicación de en qué, en qué escenario se usa. Uh -huh. Para advice, suggestion, recommendation, uso should. Eh, ese es el escenario, ese es como el contexto. No sé si que, quisiera algo como más, más profundo, porque... Así puede buscar material adicional. No, es si esta diapositiva no las puede enviar. Ah, ok. Ok, yes. I will send it eh, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Pero sí se la voy a, se la voy a compartir. Ok, gracias. Ok. Eh, my pleasure. Any other questions or comments? ¿Nos podría dar más ejemplos sobre lo de May and Might? Eh, this one. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, may and might. Okay, so let's understand the context of may and might. We use them for probabilities. Una probabilidad, algo que puede o no puede pasar. Ahí voy a usar may or might. Si hay una diferencia entre may y might, sería quizás el grado de probabilidad. Pongámosle que may es un 50% de probabilidad de que algo vaya o no vaya a pasar y might ven a ser como un 80%, ok? So, um, let's imagine that you are in your house on Saturday. Está en su casa, tranquilo, está aburrido y sus amigos lo han invitado a salir, pero usted tampoco tiene ganas de salir. Entonces su mamá le pregunta, hey, ¿qué vas a hacer en la noche? What are you doing tonight? So you come and answer, um, I don't know, mom, I might go to the discotheque because my friends invited me. O sea, puede que vaya, puede que no vaya. Depende del grado de probabilidad que usted tenga con la situación. All right. If you feel like you won't go, entonces vamos a utilizar a may. I may go to the discotheque because you're 50% yes, 50% no. And might is more that you're going, it's like a higher probability than may. No sé si se entiende la diferencia entre estos dos, entre may y might. Yes. Okay. Uh, more examples could be, um, I might 
I may, I'm sorry, I may go to the concert of my favorite singer, um, but I don't know because I don't have enough money. Puede que vaya al concierto, pero I'm not sure. Todavía no estoy segura because I don't know if I will have money. No sé si voy a tener dinero. Another one could be, I might start a saving account. Savings account. Because I will receive money from my work. Pueda que abra una cuenta de ahorro, una cuenta de banco. Porque recibí dinero. O sea, I already have the money and there is a high probability, hay una probabilidad alta de que sí lo voy a hacer. ¿Ok? So, vamos a usar might cuando nuestra probabilidad sea bien alta. ¿Ok? Es una probabilidad, pero alta. O sea, algo que sí está más que seguro que va a pasar. Y may es cuando no está tan seguro. All right. Um, let's see. Maria Jose was asking for more examples. Okay, let's go to the first ones. So, advice, suggestions, recommendations. Para eso solo hay un moreover y es should. And let's understand the context. Hay que aprender cuándo lo vamos a usar. For example, let's imagine that your best friend comes to you. Su mejor amigo, su mejor amiga viene a usted. And he tells you or she tells you, hey, I broke up with my boyfriend or with my girlfriend because he cheated on me. She cheated on me. I don't know what to do. And you start advising your friend. Le empieza a dar consejos, right? Que rompió con la novia o con el novio que porque lo engañó. Y uno que empieza a decir, mira, no deberías de volver con él, no deberías de volver con ella. Deberías de ir al gym, deberías de hacer dieta. Entonces, ¿qué usamos en esos casos? Sure. Oh, you should go to the beauty salon, for example. You should um, exercise more. You should start a diet. Uh, you should get uh, a haircut or something like that. This is for recommendations. Cuando queremos aconsejar a alguien que la está pensando mal, que vamos a usar? Sure. If somebody comes and tells you, hey, you know what? I don't have money. I don't know what to do. Y entonces usted le queda un consejo. Well, if you want to get money, you should get a job. You should save money. You should start a business. Entonces, this is specifically for suggestions, recommendations, or advice. Ok, consejos, sugerencias, recomendaciones, siempre, siempre vamos a usar should. Ok, then tenemos el, los segundos que son más en happy. Esto es para cuando algo es, por decirlo así, de ley. Eso es algo mandatory. This is something que no tenemos opción de hacerlo o no. Eso, por ejemplo, lo podemos utilizar en caso de reglamentos, políticas, eh, leyes. En este caso vamos a utilizar must or have to. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't change the example here. Se me fue en realidad. Pero more examples about this could be Um, the president of the country must ensure the security of the people. O sea, el presidente tiene que asegurar la seguridad de sus habitantes. Eh, another example. Doctors must be empathetic with patients. Los doctores tienen que ser empáticos con los pacientes. Um, another one, you have to study for your test. Tú tienes que estudiar para tu examen. Yes? This is actually the way we use um, must and have to. Um, vamos a hacer otro. No, espérame, María José. Fíjese que I already have like the class planned. Si nos queda tiempito al final, porque vamos a recibir dos horas hoy, les voy a poner otro juego de Motorverse, all right? Porque ahorita sí preparé like the whole the whole class. So these ones are for should, must, and have to. Estos ya están más claritos para todos. Is this clear for all of you? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. All right. Now the next ones. Um, ability. Ability means habilidad, ¿ok? Algo que podemos o que no podemos hacer. 
as simple as that, all right? Vamos a usar can when we express an ability in present. O sea, una habilidad que yo tengo ahorita en presente, okay? I can speak English. I can cook. I can drive a car. That is something that I can do. O lo que puedo hacer hoy, presente, okay? Could is the same. We express abilities, but in past. ¿Qué es el pasado? One week ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, one year ago, five years ago, when I was a kid, eso es pasado, all right? Cualquier tiempo antes del presente. For example, um, when I was 18, I couldn't drive a car because no podía, no podía manejar cuando tenía 18, okay? But now uh, I can drive a car. I have my driver's license. So this is like the difference between can and could. Abilities, acuérdense, eso es para expresar algo que se puede hacer, pero es como, como un, algo que una, una habilidad que una persona tenga, all right? But this is can and could. The, the next ones, can, may, or could. These ones are for permissions. Um, con estas no hay ni correctas ni incorrectas because they basically mean the same. La diferencia son los grados de formalidad, all right? Could is 100% formal. May is, I'm sorry, no. Can is 50% formal. And may is like 25% formal. This is actually informal, all right? Cuando usemos esto para pedir permiso, para solicitar algo, siempre lo vamos a utilizar en forma de pregunta. We will always ask them. Or we will always use them in the form of a question. Ok, siempre, siempre, pero en qué contexto, cuando sea permission. Si yo quiero decir una ability, yo lo tengo que decir in present or in negative. Unless I am asking for an ability. All right. So more examples about this one. Um, can I watch the TV, for example? May I use your restroom? Uh, may I speak in Spanish? Let's say, uh, could I drink some water? Those are examples. ¿Cuál es el factor común? They are all questions. Okay, they are all questions. When we request and we use them for permission. I do ser, that acerca de puede ser, puede ser, could you repeat please? Yes, you... yes, that Porque is an no example. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can say, can you repeat? May you repeat or could you repeat? That's correct, Leti. Any other questions, guys? No more questions? Okay, so let's move forward. And this one, might or may. Aquí tenemos otra vez may, pero en un diferente contexto. All right, for to express a future probability. Una probabilidad de que algo vaya a pasar. This is something like in future, ¿ok? Eh, lo que les está explicando, right? Que um, cuando tenemos la probabilidad de que algo vaya o no vaya a pasar. May and might, these are positive. Si lo quiero decir en negative, sería may not or might not. Para eso no hay contracciones. Eso se tiene que decir may not or might not, ¿ok? And well, I think that's it. We had the game and now we have a listening activity. All right. Les voy a poner un listening exercise y este siempre es the model verse. We have, uh, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine sentences. Okay. Se las voy a hacer más chiquita para que se vean todas. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, so we have nine sentences. Listen to the audio and you will answer based on the audio. So let me play it, share the audio. Okay. Pay attention, please. Page 57, exercise four. What's your holiday camp like, Dave? It's okay, but there are a lot of rules. We must go to bed at half past nine, and we mustn't talk in bed after ten o'clock. 
Oh dear, it doesn't sound like a holiday. I'm lucky. I don't have to get up or go to bed early. And we must clean the kitchen after breakfast. That's horrible. I don't have to help with the housework. We mustn't go out of the camp without an adult. There are only two rules here at my grandparents' house. I mustn't wake my grandfather up. He isn't very well and he sleeps a lot. And I must take the dog for a walk every morning. Your grandparents are cool. Okay, should I repeat it one more time? Yes, please. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, okay. It's British, I know. It's a little bit tricky, but let's pay attention. Page 57, exercise 4. What's your holiday camp like, Dave? It's okay, but there are a lot of rules. We must go to bed at half past nine, and we mustn't talk in bed after ten o'clock. Oh dear, it doesn't sound like a holiday. I'm lucky. I don't have to get up or go to bed early. And we must clean the kitchen after breakfast. That's horrible. I don't have to help with the housework. We mustn't go out of the camp without an adult. There are only two rules here at my grandparents' house. I mustn't wake my grandfather up. He isn't very well and he sleeps a lot. And I must take the dog for a walk every morning. Your grandparents are cool. Okay, very good. So now, a sentence A says, Dave must go to bed at half past eight. Is this true or false? False. False. Okay. Dave mustn't talk after 10 o'clock. True or false? True. 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 Okay. Lily doesn't have to get up early. True or false? What do you say? True or false? Doesn't have to get up early. Think Marin, the Dopingue? True. What do you think? True. No. All right. True. <laughs> okay, true. All right. Lily must go to bed early. True or false? False. 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 Okay. False. Dave must clean his room after breakfast. False. Yo, you get a kitchen. No room. No break. Okay. Well, go with false. Lily must do housework. Housework on officios. Okay. True. True. Okay. They mustn't go out without an adult. They mustn't go out without. True. 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 Okay. True. Lily mustn't wake her grandfather up. They must take her. True or false? She doesn't have to wake her grandfather up. You can't get her to True or false? What do you think? Mm. False. False. I think it's false. false. Okay, let's go with false. And the last one, Lily doesn't have to take the dog for a walk every day. True or false? Pause. Pause. Okay. All right. So now we have the second audio. It says, Matt is talking about the rules at their school. Listen and decide if the statements are must, mustn't, don't have to. All right. Let's pay attention to this. Yeah, this is the last audio. Page 71, exercise 6A. School rules? Yes, we've got a lot of rules at our school. We must wear a uniform 
but that's okay. We mustn't wear jewellery, and some of the girls don't like that. We must be at school by quarter to nine, Monday to Friday. We don't have to go to school on Saturdays. We mustn't smoke, of course. What else? Well, we must stand up when a teacher comes into the room, and we mustn't run in the corridors. We must stay in the playground at break time, but we don't have to go outside when it rains. Oh, and we mustn't use mobile phones in lessons. Okay, should I play it one more time or we can answer the questions? One more time. Okay. Page 71, exercise 6a. School rules? Yes, we've got a lot of rules at our school. We must wear a uniform, but that's okay. We mustn't wear jewellery, and some of the girls don't like that. We must be at school by quarter to nine, Monday to Friday. We don't have to go to school on Saturdays. We mustn't smoke, of course. What else? Well, we must stand up when a teacher comes into the room, and we mustn't run in the corridors. We must stay in the playground at break time, but we don't have to go outside when it rains. Oh, and we mustn't use mobile phones in lessons. Okay, now number one, must, mustn't, or don't have to? Must. 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 Okay, number two, wear jewelry, must, mustn't, or don't have to? Mustn't. 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 Okay, number three? Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to? Okay. Number four, go to school on Saturdays? No. Must. Okay. Number five. Smoke. Mustn't. 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 Okay. Number six. Must. Mustn't must. or don't have to. Must. Must. All right. Number seven. Run in the corridors. Mustn't. 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 Okay. Number eight. Stay in the pl in the playground at break time. Don't have. Okay, don't have to. Number nine, go outside when it rains. Mustn't. Okay, mustn't. And number ten, switch off mobile phones in lessons. Must or mustn't or don't have to. Switch Must. off, turn off. Okay. Okay, very good. Now let's check the answers. We will click on finish. Check my answers and let me zoom it up. We got seven out of ten. All right. That means that we got a good score. Uh Lily must do the housework. This was false. Lily mustn't wake her grandfather up. This one was false. And the incorrect one here, uh, we must arrive at school before. That was the answer. Uh, we don't have to go to school on Saturdays. This was the answer. We mustn't stay in the play playground. This was the answer. No, sorry, must, must. And we... Don't have to go outside when it rains. This was the answer. Don't have to. Okay. Very good. Very good. Seven out of ten is a good score. Let's go back to the presentation. And now we will go with the speaking activity. Um, Francisco, can you help me reading this slide? What are the instructions for the speaking activity? Okay. Conversation time. Work in our groups and discourse with your partner the best way to have a um, healthy lift, lift time. Use small verbs in your conversation. Okay, thank you. Just a quick correction. The pronunciation of this word is lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle. Lifestyle. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is what you have to do. You will discuss the best way to have a life, a healthy lifestyle. Una, un estilo de vida más saludable, all right? And I want you to use more verbs in your conversation. No vamos a practicar una pregunta, sino que vamos a practicar cómo tener un estilo de vida más saludable. Qué recomendaciones o qué podemos hacer para tener un estilo de vida más saludable. And please take a screenshot or a picture to this uh, slide. This is actually vocabulary that might be useful for you. You have the vocabulary here and you have the definition, okay? So take a screenshot or a picture of this so you can have a little bit of vocabulary to practice when you answer the question, all right? Um, can I stop sharing the screen now? Did you take a picture already? Yes, for me, yes. Okay, I will take one and I will send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can have it there. Ahí les envié un, la foto al grupo de WhatsApp. And remember, the discussion is, la discusión es de que cómo se tiene un estilo de vida más saludable. That's the discussion, all right? So I will put you in breakout rooms. Give me one second. Okay. All right, so accept the invitations, please, so you can go to the breakup rooms. Okay. Uh, for you, for the, we have the live, live. Oh, sedentary, sedentary, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, strain. Oh my God. This, is, this example is saying to describe me. Nah. <laughs> The picture the, of the 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 send of, of group of WhatsApp group is describe me. Describe me. Sedentary lifestyle, obesity, is trying conversion for that. <laughs> okay, for you, you are very young yes, and 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 you you have a, a a good life, very diet dietetic or no. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> but you are very, very slim, and I can see in, in your picture is is a is a, a, a slim person. Yeah, there is there is good. Uh, the mo the 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 most important is is the saludal. The no, I don't know. Yeah. You for you. Um, eh, me perdí. Teníamos que responder. Example for um, I I I don't I don't know the I don't know the. Es una the, the una discusión de cómo the tener un estilo de vida más saludable. Es a, a discussion, all right? In the discussion, you have to use modal verbs. Hay que usar los modal verbs. Y pueden usar el vocabulario que les mandé. Pero tienen que hablar de cómo tener un estilo de vida más saludable. All right? In general. Okay? That's the activity. Thank you. Okay, Majo. For you, your opinion...
Okay. Um, you should exercise. Um, it's fabulous. Maria Jose, try to give more details, please. A little bit more of, of sentences so you can have a, a conversation. And you can, for example, discuss about what type of food can we eat or what kind of exercises we should do, uh, what food we should avoid, que comida hay que evitar. That's like the conversation about cómo tener un, un healthy lifestyle. Como cuando están hablando con un amigo. That's the, the exact way you have to do it. Vaya, chicos, si nos quedamos en silencio, no vamos a mejorar, no vamos a practicar. All right? ¿Tienen alguna duda de la actividad? No, for me. Ok, but you are in silence. ¿Por qué estamos en silencio? Man, because it's... We have most vocabulary for this discussion, but I, I, I try, I try it, I try it. Okay, let me hold on. Le voy a enviar un dictionary. All right. Si no saben cómo decir algo, aquí lo pueden buscar. Hold on. The or, Spanish. On Google, or, no. Google, like, no, Google no. is not good. I got really. Yes. <laughs> Google is, I don't uh, recommend Google. And Google for me is a is a first option. <laughs> no, you no. shouldn't use Google. Um, ese link que les mandé es un traductor. For example, if yeah. you want to say something, si quieren traducir toda una oración, ahí lo puede hacer. La pone en español, le va a salir en inglés y en el speaker. Hold on, let me share the screen to show you. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, for example, um, pongamos esto para, para tener un estilo de vida más saludable, tienes que dejar de comer chatarra, pongámosle. Okay, vaya, ahí tenemos, ve. Para tener un estilo de vida más saludable tienes que dejar de comer chatarra. Y aquí se traduce, to have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food. Si no sé la pronunciación, pican este parlante, le da listen, quiero ver, let me share the sound. Y ahí le sale cómo se pronuncia. To have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food. To have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food. Así que si no tenemos mucho vocabulary, please usemos esto, pero si usémoslo en practice, ¿ok? Ok, good. Thank okay. you. Ok, moment, my pleasure, I, guys. Ok, in this moment, I add in my favorites. My favorite. Ok, ok, very good. Let's continue with the discussion, please. Ok, Majo. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi. I just want to give you a recommendation, okay? Yeah. Uh, do you have do you see the link in the chat? The last I sent? Mm. Ven un, un enlace que mandé o no les aparece? No. Hold on. Let me put it now. And now? Yep. Okay. That link is hold on, let me share the screen. Is this website. All right? If you don't know how to form a sentence or how to say a complete sentence, you can use this, all right? Uh, for example, I put it in Spanish here. Se, se, se me, se aseguran de que aquí diga Spanish, okay? Y que aquí diga English. Uh, this is just an example. Para tener un estilo de vida más saludable, tienes que dejar de comer chatarra. Y aquí se los traduce. To have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food, okay? Si no sabe cómo se dice una palabra o quiere escuchar cómo se pronuncia, aquí tiene este parlante, ¿ve? Y le da listen. To have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food. Y ahí escucha cómo se pronuncia, ¿alright? In case we don't know enough vocabulary, 
eh, en caso de que quieran como más vocabulary o no sepan cómo decir algo, esto le va a ayudar muchísimo. This is a very good translator. Um, mm -hmm. I don't recommend Google Translator, okay? So don't use it, use this one. This one is better. Okay. Y es más acertada la, la traducción, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, uh, please continue practicing. Si ya terminamos, let's repeat it one more time para reinforce, okay? Okay. Hello guys. Hello. Did you finish Hello. with the practice? Yes. Yes. Okay. I want to give you a recommendation. Okay. You can another recommendation. Do you see the link I sent in the chat? Yes. Okay. Let me share the screen. And that link is a translator. Is actually hold on. It's lowering. Oh my God. I don't know why it's loading. Oh, I see. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this is the translator. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you don't know how to say something, si no sabe cómo decir una oración o una palabra en específico, usted puede poner la oración completa aquí. Solo mm -hmm. se asegura que aquí hay Spanish y aquí English. Okay. So let's imagine that I'm, I want to say this sentence. Para tener un estilo de vida más saludable, tienes que dejar de comer chatar. So I put it here and it gives me the translation here. To have mm -hmm. a healthier lifestyle, I don't. you have to stop eating junk food. Imagínense que yo no sepa cómo se pronuncia esta palabra. Eh, entonces solo le pico acá en el speaker. Le doy listen. To have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food. And it gives me the pronunciation. Y aquí asegúrese que diga English US. Porque si le pone English British, le va a sonar diferente. To have a healthier lifestyle, you have to stop eating junk food. A little bit different. But always make sure que diga English American. Okay. Um, so I give you this recommendation, guys. Uh, so you can use it for any practice, para cualquier práctica. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can, it can be useful for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So please continue practicing uh, while we go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, for best way to have a healthy lifestyle, you should drink water. Also, you could go to the gym and might prepare healthy food. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gabby. What is your uh, what is your opinion, David? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Let's um let me start sharing the screen one more time so you can see the presentation. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So, um, let me see. I want to hear Mr. David. David, uh, tell us, please, share with the class what is the best way to have a healthy lifestyle? Um, to have a healthy lifestyle is... Um, you should exercise more um a uh food saludable healthy um health, health. healthy yeah healthy saludable healthy. um Uh, 
That's um, it? I have a, a balance balance diet. Y, um, y solamente sí. Okay. Um all right, very good. Uh, thank you, Mr. David. Um, I will just give you a recommendation uh, with the word diet. Dieta, the pronunciation is diet, okay? Let me put it here in the chat. Se la voy a poner en el chat para que la note. Okay. Diet. And that's dieta, okay? And the target was to use modal verbs. Y no le escuché modal verbs at all, okay? Um, so, ¿cómo usamos once again los modal verbs, guys? If I want to have a better lifestyle, I should uh, do exercise. Also, I should drink a lot of water. Uh, besides that, I should stop eating junk food. Y así, siempre el target Bueno, en esta actividad el target es usar los modal verbs, ¿ok? So, cuando tengamos una actividad de speaking, asegurémonos de usar la grammar que hemos aprendido, porque si no lo practicamos, entonces no nos va a quedar, ¿ok? So, please be careful with that part. Eh, Mr. David, please pick somebody else. Uh, no, no lo entiendo. I'm sorry. No, no lo entendí. Que... Pick somebody else. Choose a classmate. Que elija un compañero. Ok. Um, María José. Ok, very good. María José, your turn. Uh, tell us, please, what is the best way to have a healthy lifestyle? <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> terrible. That's okay. <laughs> okay, and you must exercise, drink no water, eat less sugar uh, or, or fat. You must go to the gym, sleep and now. You can start small and then you get used, used to it. And in my case, I am even a shaman to advise that because I don't com comply with it, but it's, uh, it is advisable uh, to live a uh, healthy life. That's it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maria Jose. Now, can you pick one of your classmates? Gabriela. Okay, very good. Miss Gabriela, go ahead. Give us, give us your opinion. Okay, for a best way to have a healthy lifestyle, I must walk in my free time. Also, I should drink more water and might prepare healthy food. Okay, should prepare healthy food. Very good, very good. Thank you so much. Um, okay, guys. So we will stop here the conversation for modal verse and we will go to the second topic that I actually have for today. And it is also related to modal verse. Siempre vamos como con modal verse, pero son los modal verse will and would, okay? And now we have, let's see. Miss Alejandra, can you help me read in this paragraph, please? Okay. The model, the model verb will is used for real possibilities in the future. Will would is used for hypothetical situation in the future. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, just two uh, corrections in pronunciation. This word se pronuncia while, okay? Let me put it in the chat. Okay, is while, while, and this one is high, 
como que usted diga, cuando usted dice hi, de que esté saludando, hypothetical, ¿ok? That's the pronunciation, Hi hypothetical. Hypothetical. Hypothetical, very good. Eh, yes, thank you, Ale. Very good. So, um, when we study the simple future, we actually see the this auxiliary will. Ustedes saben que el will lo usamos como para expresar el futuro cuando queremos decir algo en futuro, pero aún así se queda como en una posibilidad, pero una posibilidad muy, muy, muy arriba. O sea, will es como algo casi, will es algo que va a pasar, pero que no está planeado. Ok, that's why it's a real possibility. O sea, nosotros sabemos que lo vamos a hacer, pero no está como 100% escrito en piedra. Ahí usamos el will. Ok, and the difference with would is Ooh. que would is used for hypothetical situations in the future. O sea, algo hipotético, algo irreal, algo que puede que no exista. Okay? That's the difference between will and would. All right? Will and would aún siguen siendo motor verbs. Okay? I put them in a different category because they are a little bit different. Pero siempre siguen siendo motor verbs. Now, eh, I, we have some examples. Eh, Leti, can you help me reading this example? I will travel to Paris next year. Okay, thank you so much. Um, David, help me reading the second example, please. The sky was getting cloudy, which means, which means it will rain. Okay, it will rain. Um, cuando está nu, nu, oh my god, I forgot the word in Spanish. Pero que hay muchas nubes oscuras, this is cloudy. Eso significa cloudy, okay? Nublado, I think, yeah, nublado, that's the word. And sky is cielo, all right? So the sky was getting cloudy, which meant it will rain. So this is like a hypothetical situation, all right, in which we use wood. Respecto a esta diferencia, tenemos preguntas. Do you have questions, guys? No, for me. Go ahead, Alejandra. Um, what is the difference will and going to? Will is it's future, similar. but it's a probability. It's still a probability, but going to? is like a plan that if you are a hundred percent sure that is going to happen okay el will es como que el, el futuro escrito en piedra usted ya sabe que sí o sí lo va a hacer y el will es como usted sabe que va a hacer algo pero no está 100% seguro de que lo va a hacer de esa manera that's the difference it's like a very short difference okay a thank you amb ambos representan futuro pero will is more like a future probability y going to es algo que sí o sí va a pasar You're welcome, Alejandra. Any other questions, guys? No. Okay. Let's move forward. Okay. Now we have the expression would like to. Um, let's see. Mr. Francisco, help me read in this part, please. Would like to. We use would like to to say for for lady for politely politely polite politely yes politely okay uh, to say politely uh, what we want especially when when make when making after and request example I would like to eat to eat a snack. Example, she would like to dance with him. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, so when we use the expression would like to, it's something that we want, something that we want to do. And it is a polite expression, o sea, algo muy formal y muy respetuoso. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me see, desire. This is like a desire. Desire is un deseo, okay? 
For example, with this weather, con este clima, a todos nos dan ganas de ir a la, a, bueno, no a la playa, a una piscina. Ok, we want to go to a pool. Entonces, ¿qué, ¿cómo expreso mi deseo utilizando would like to? Oh, I would like to go to the pool. I would like to go to the pool. Me gustaría ir a la piscina. Because the weather is too hot. Or for example, I would like to eat ice cream right now. Me gustaría comer helado, sorbete. All right. I would like to, let's see, I would like the weather to be fresher. Me gustaría que el clima estuviera más fresco, all right? El would like to es cuando expresamos algo que nosotros quisiéramos, algo que, que queremos, pero de una manera muy amable, ¿ok? El would like to se traduce a me gustaría, me gustaría... Eh, salir con ella. I would like to go out with her. I would like to eat pupusas. Me gustaría comer pupusas. All right. That's the way we translate would like to. Okay. Do we have questions about the expression would like to? Preguntitas about this. Is it clear for everybody? It's clear. In, el, in, el caso, in the case is um, was a question. Yeah, here we go with the questions. Uh, this is the, the, the form of the questions we would like to. Uh, David, help me reading the first one, please. Would you like to go to the movie with me? Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria Jose. Help me with number two. Okay, very good. Alejandra, help me with number three. Three, sorry. Would you like to eat something? Okay, very good. Uh, so yeah, Mr. David, this is the way we ask a question using would like to. Uh, first, we use would, which is the auxiliary. Then we use the subject you or another subject. He, she, it, we, they. It depends on the subject. Then we use the verb like. Así va siempre like. Y usamos la preposition to. Y luego, pues, um, the verb or the complement of the sentence. This is the way we ask questions. Uh, is it clear for you, Mr. David? Yes, thank you. Okay, okay, very good. And now I would like to go to how to answer questions. How to answer, would you like to questions? If we want to say a short answer, we say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't, okay? And for long answers, it would be yes, I would like to, or no, I wouldn't like to. Okay, this is the way we answer would you like questions. For example, um, I'm going to ask you questions, guys. Le voy a hacer would you like to questions. Y ustedes me van a responder, ya sea con short answer or long answer. Uh, I will start with Alejandra. Alejandra, would you like some ice cream? Yes, I would. Okay, beautiful. Mr. David, would you like to go to the mountain? Uh, la última palabra, ¿cómo? Mountain, montaña. Uh, yes, I would. Okay, yes, I would. And Mr. Francisco, would you like to study French? No, I would. I won't. Wouldn't. wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Yes. No, I wouldn't. No. All right. <laughs> Very good. And Miss Gabby, tell me, would you like to have a Barbie doll? Yes, I will. Okay. Very good. And Miss Letty, would you like to drink a cup of, uh, cup of coffee? Yes, I would. 
Okay, excellent. And Maria Jose, the last one. Would you like to eat a hamburger? Yes, I do. Yes, I would. Okay, very good. So let's do a little exercise. Uh, hold on. I will put you once again in breakout rooms. Let me recreate them. Les voy a poner en breakout rooms y quiero que formulen five would you like to questions cada uno. Um, for example, Ale va a trabajar con Gaby. Ale le va a hacer cinco would you like to questions a Gaby. Gaby se las contesta y luego Gaby le hace las cinco preguntas a Alejandro. All right, that's the activity. Solo nos vamos a tardar like five minutes. Is it clear? Yep. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's accept the invite so we can go to work. In the in the same group with with you. No problem. Okay, now you're first or me. Una ayuda. What? Una ayuda, ¿te parece? Okay. Good. Good. One and one. Uno y uno. Okay. Uh, will, will you like to dance uh, salsa? Yes, I do. Uh, good, good. <laughs> okay, and you? Hello? Today. What? I'm sorry. I can hear you uh, again, please. Would you like the part? I like what? If you would like, you would you like to go to the park? I think that's what she's oh, saying. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, I would with my with my daughters. Oh. To the theater. Yes, I will. Mm. Would you like to learn in another um language? Yes, I would like to learn Portuguese. Wow. Mm. Ale, I'm sorry. Just a quick feedback. Uh, the verb should be in base form okay would you like to learn um, would you like to go that's the verb okay 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 continue girls um, would you like learn teacher yes si yo pregunto si would you like to travel para decir a estados unidos Vuelvo a decir to travel to USA. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Ok. Ok, entonces de N, la última es Do you, would, would you like to travel to USA? No, I would, I wouldn't like to. Ok. Me toca. Sí. Me toca. <laughs> Would you like to go to the park? ¿Cómo? Would you like to go to the to the park? Yes, I would. Would you like to sign in the bathroom? Yes, I would. Singing, singing, o no, para decir cantar. Sing. 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 And sing. sing. Yeah. Ajá. Would yes, you I like would. <laughs> Would you like to drink a uh, fruit fresh? ¿El qué? ¿Tomar qué? Would you like to drink a uh, fruit fresh? Yes, I would. Would you like to eat um, 
speaks of the okay very good we're back and uh let me see let me see the couples and i want to hear hold on oh my god my camera is off um i want to hear ale and gabby ale and gabby please say your questions um ale you can start with the questions for gabby and then gabby you will ask the questions to ale go ahead girls Okay. No se escucha cortado. No. It's okay. No se puede andar la señal. Okay. Gabby, start. Yes. Or Gabby, okay. you can start with questions. I don't know. Okay. Would you like to watch a movie? Yes, I would like. Would you like to drink something? Yes, I would like. Okay. Would you like to travel in another country? <laughs> yes, I would like. <laughs> would you like to eat some pupusas? Yes, I would like. Um, would you like go to the cinema? Yes, I would like. Would you like read a book? Yes, I would. Um, would you like learn another? A language? Yes, I would like to learn Portuguese. Um, I would like to um, run in the park. No, I would. <laughs> 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 okay very good thank you so much uh girls uh just some feedback for both um when we have when we say the short form cuando decimos una respuesta corta solo sería yes i would or no i wouldn't okay just those words pero si decimos la long answer entonces si sí tendríamos que decir la completa como yes i would like to o no, I wouldn't like to. Entonces no estamos diciendo la preposición to como al final de la oración. All right. Eh, solo son esas dos formas. Yes, I would en corta. Y yes, I would like to in the long form. Ok. And Gaby, the pronunciation of Portuguese is Portuguese. Ok. Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Now I would like to listen to um, Francisco, I think, and Maria Jose. You were practicing, right? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, Maria Jose. Uh, will, will you like fry fish? No, I will. Uh, will you like... Uh, Horror movies? No, I don't. Would you like to go to the beach? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, would you like uh, to learn uh, the other language? Yes, I do. And would you like the ice cream? Yes, I do. Too. I do okay. like it. <laughs> okay, you? Okay, and um, would you like to go to the park? 
Yes. Yes, I would. Would you like to travel? Yes, I would. Yes, I would to travel with all my family. Okay. Would you like to see a play? Yes, I would. Would you like to go to a restaurant? Yes, I would. To like a restaurant, I like much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, very good, very good job, guys. Um, thank you. Let me just give you some recommendations. Um, Mr. Francisco, in the first sentences that you said, uh, you forgot the verb. Okay, so be careful with that because the sentence goes. For example, would you like to eat pizza or ice cream? Eh, me parece que se lo dijo, I will, would you like to ice cream? Se nos olvidó el verbo. Okay, so be careful with that part because the verb is the action. Siempre tienen que llevar las oraciones un verbo. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Then, decir a otro país, lo correcto sería, would you like to visit another country okay let me put it here in the chat would you like to visit another country would you like to visit another country and of course the answer yes i would no i wouldn't all right um y los verbos igual hay que tener cuidado cuando respondemos también there was a sentence in which you said I would to travel. Video, I would like to travel. Okay. Uh, because that is the, the form of the of the expression. La expresión es I would like to. Would like to. Así la expresión completa. Entonces, let's be careful with that part. Um, and thank you guys. Thank you for your participation. And now the last ones are David and Letty. Go ahead. Okay. Would you like to eat salad? Yes, I would. <laughs> I would like, would you like to drink soda? Uh, yes. Yes, I would, I would like to. Would you like to walk to the park? Yes, I would. Would you like to study German? No, I wouldn't like to. Would you like to travel to USA? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you Would you like to go to the park? Yes, I would. Uh, would you like to sign in the bathroom? Yes, I would. Uh, would you like to drink a fruit fresh? Yes, I would. Would you like to go to the horror movies? No, I wouldn't. Uh, would you like to travel to France? Yes, I would. Okay. Uh, would you... Uh, Sorry, sorry, continue. That is, it, that is the last one, right? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Would Thanks. you like to eat bean soap? No, I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't like bean soup, Letty? No, I don't eat. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't like that either. All right. Very good, very good. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, it was a good practice, Letty and David. Congratulations. Um, let's see. Just I have a question, David. When you said fruit fresh, what do you what do you want to say? ¿Qué quería decir cuando dijo fruit fresh? Fresco de fruta. No. Okay, entonces sería um. O refresco de fruta. Fruits. Algo así. Juice, así sería, mira. Fruits, juice. Juice, ah, okay. 
the pronunciation will be like this. No, hold on. Yeah, juice. Juice. Fruits, juice. Would you like to drink some uh, fruits juice? That's it. Okay. 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 Very good. So let's see. I had a quiz, guys, pero no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. All right. So let me let me just give you instructions and you will do it by your own. Ustedes lo van a hacer. Okay. This is the page. And ese es el tema que estábamos viendo. Would, would like to for wishes. Y aquí hay un pequeño como eh, insight del tema. The subjects, the structure, when we use it, yes or no questions, all which questions, all right? So these are the exercises, okay? These sentences, for example, are incorrect. They are in the incorrect order. You have to put them in the correct order. Uh, for example, the first one, what would be the correct order for this sentence? I would like mm -hmm. to be a musician. Musician, exactly. I would like to be a musician. Very good. Vaya, así tienen que ser la parte A, okay? Then we have B, write would or wouldn't to complete the conversation. Entonces aquí tiene que usted definir si es would or wouldn't, okay? And in the part C, Dice, find the mistake in each sentence and rewrite it. Quiere decir que estas oraciones que están aquí están incorrectas. They are wrong. So, in the first one, we have, she would like to have a party. What is the mistake here? She would like to have a party. La S. La S, ok. Entonces, what am I going to do? Yo voy a poner la oración aquí correcta. She would like to have, have a party. Así, la voy a poner aquí, okay? That's what you have to do with this exercise. Lo van a completar y le van a dar aquí en finish y ahí les va a dar su score. Cuando lo completen, me manda un score de cuánto se sacaron. Ahí se los, se los tira la app y les voy a mandar aquí en el chat the link. That is the link for this specific exercise, okay? So please complete it. You can complete it tomorrow if you want. Lo completan mañana. And uh, you send me a screenshot with the score. Lo completa, toma captura y me lo manda. And please, when you text me, cuando me manda el mensaje, please tell me, uh, hi teacher, my name is Francisco. I am from pre-intermediate one. 8 to 9 class, porque tengo otro pre-intermedio, ok? Eh, so, we, so I can identify eh, my students, all right? Eh, ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer con esta actividad? ¿Es it clear? Yes, it's clear. Ok, it's clear. El link se los dejo acá, está en el chat. The, do you have WhatsApp open in your phones or in your computer? Guys, ahorita. Yep. Alguien tiene, so, ok, entonces hágame un favor. Este link que les acabo de mandar, please, send it to the WhatsApp group. Mándelo también al grupo de WhatsApp para que todos lo tengan. Y I will send instructions when I finish my second class. Les voy a mandar la instrucción. Solo háganme el favor de mandar el link because my WhatsApp is not open right now in my computer, ok. Just send this link. Este que está aquí en el chat, mándenlo al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, thank you, Leti. Thank you so much. Y yo les doy instrucciones para que todos lo puedan hacer. And remember, me mandan una captura cuando lo termine. Do we have questions? No, I don't. No questions, okay. Very no good. Questions. So, teacher, what time send that? What time send that? Um, tomorrow, uh, the morning, six, yeah, morning, afternoon, before 5 p.m., okay, before okay. 5 p.m. in the afternoon, so I can check everything before we come to the class. Uh, remember that 
tomorrow our class will be again from 7 to 9. Ok, otra vez mañana vamos a tener este schedule, the same schedule. So please eh, join on time so you can check all of the grammar topics. Ya luego el, on Wednesday we will have the regular schedule from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Ok. Eh, Guys, do you have questions about today's topic? ¿Tienen alguna duda del tema de hoy, de cualquiera de los dos temas que vimos? No. No question. Is it clear for everybody? It's clear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, very good. Did you complete the platform in the weekend, guys? ¿Avanzaron con su plataforma? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, very good. In which unit are you working? ¿En cuál unidad están trabajando? Five. Unit five. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Five. Ok, got it. I still have no access, todavía no me da acceso, pero como les decía, eh, this is something that Insafort checks. Eh, they access to the platform, they check your scores, and they check everything, ok? Eh, so, it shouldn't be like, like a problem, actually. Pero si tratan de ponerse al día, I understand that this is the last week. We will finish this Friday. Este viernes is the last one. So, let's Let's um, complete the platform eh, para que no se atrasen porque hacer ya bastante trabajo toma su tiempito. Eh, así que, please, complete it. Si tienen preguntas o si les dan un, algún error, por favor, repórtenlo siempre en el grupo, ¿ok? Because that is something that we have to fix if there is a mistake. Um, and I have to go, guys, because I have another class. Tengo una clase a las 9 o'clock. So I will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. I hope you have a wonderful night. Y mañana me envían el resultado de ese quiz que les, que les mandó eh, Leti, que les mandó el enlace. Me envían cuántos se sacaron, ¿ok? okay. Uh, una, una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, ¿Esta clase la va a subir a, a qué hora más o menos? Es que yo no estuve desde el inicio y quería Fíjate, verla. Ahorita tengo otra clase. Y ya de esta clase, honestly, si sí salgo algo cansadita. Entonces, sí, la voy sí. a subir mañana como a las 10 o 11 de la mañana porque tengo otra clase de mañana en la mañana de 8 a 9 y media. Y esa clase tengo que hacer como la cuestión un poquito más rápido, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Así que voy a tratar de subirla primerito. Me voy a levantar temprano para que se empiece a subir. Pero si, si está okay. antes de las 8, les aviso, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, yeah. igual el material se lo voy a mandar a la, al WhatsApp para que lo revisen. Thank you. Have a, Have a night. wonderful night. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye. See you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.